YouTube channel. I'm going to attempt to build a uh, box truck into an RV. So this is the start of it. What we have here is a 2006 E350 Super Duty with a locked up engine, about 176,000 miles. Uh, body's in pretty good shape. Interior, uh, it's been exposed to elements because that's the way I bought it. They, uh, it sat for a while before uh, anybody, and before I bought it off Craigslist. Good thing about it is it has a uh, limited slip 410 uh, rear differential. Uh, I think it's a Dana 70. So that's, uh, that's pretty sought after and it's a uh, full floater so it should, uh, should hold some weight. And uh, after I get the engine running or replaced, the idea is to uh, <coughs> mount this 10 foot box on the back of it. I picked this up at a uh, local salvage yard. Uh, looks like it was used by, by a plumber in the previous life, but uh, it's in pretty good shape. The, uh, the bottom edges are kind of kind of messed up down here, but I didn't intend on using that anyway. I'm, I'm gonna probably mount some kind of boxes or storage down on the bottom. But the, uh, the sides and the top are in pretty good shape. It needs a uh, full replacement on the back here. We need a whole, whole panel on here. Uh, I got an extra door to go with it just because the uh, material is that fiberglass reinforced uh, plywood. Uh, probably take the shelves out and uh, it's got a nice uh, aluminum roof with some ribbing on the top and uh, you can stand up in it full height I don't have any insulation or anything but if you can see uh, I got plenty of room for my head and everything and just make a little small RV out of it hopefully I'll get decent gas mileage the, uh, the engine in the uh, E350 is a um, 5.4 and the replacement engine I have for it has uh, 60 I think 68,000 miles so that would be a pretty good setup just to test out and see if it works for me or not if not I'll build it and uh, don't like it I'll just I'll just sell it but I thought it'd be a neat project maybe put some uh, some windows in it and a side door and have a queen size bed in it, a shower, and um, I don't know if we're going to be cooking in it or not. So anyway, yeah, uh, still has the old frame mounted underneath it. I've already loosened up all the bolts and everything, so it's pretty much ready to come out. The hard part is going to be to uh, lift it off this trailer and then slide the uh, E350 Super Duty up underneath it. That's going to be a uh, a task and uh, maybe a little dangerous but uh, I'll see what how I can do it anyway time to get to work on the uh, on the van and rip the old motor out got a few sensors back here to replace and a return somebody uh, tried to disassemble it and tore it up and over here is a little pressure sensor for the uh, fuel tank and um, they tore that up also that's about a 60 70 dollar sensor right there so see if I can find one used I might have one on the tank that's underneath that box back there but see. the interior is uh and it's pretty much shot I want to see if I can get a uh, a newer model like out of a 2014 or something to, to fit in here when it was recently in a, in a wreck but uh, fun little project to start with. Let's see how it comes out. Right now comes the uh, one of the worst parts of the job is uh, replacing the motor. So.
made a little more progress. Now the question is how to get that big sucker out of here. It's going to be a tight squeeze pulling it out. So pretty sure I'm going to have to take the intake off. But made some progress today anyway. Just a little bit at a time. Show you what I'm replacing it with. Here's the 2005 68,000 mile motor. It's going in. And hopefully that'll do a better job. <laughs> 